Time to fry bigger fish, Mr. Steele. There's a rifle and the foliage to your right. Watch the woman standing on the balcony above the check in desk. She will walk through the crowd and ask someone the time. You must kill that person, retrieve the case, and take it to the location taped under the phone. Have a lot of nerve, pal. I get public radio. I can hear Maurice Chavez. I own a small one-bedroom house. A business selling flowers to people stuck in traffic. Three or four radios all turned on to BCPR. A dog. Fifteen ice cubes. But I don't feel safe. I'm worried about gangs. Gangs are a myth put out by the liberal elite to patronize and diminish. And I'll show you a green dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund, we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping, a community within a community. Gangs are a way to be noticed in the boxy suburbs. You scream out, rather than urinate at the edge of your camp like a proud native. We spray paint our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. 
And that's supposed to terrify people? No, no. We believe Pat. Him or her. Some of the best bikers are really women. Anyone can join our group. This is about poor people getting together. But your father owns half of Florida. How are you part of the working class? Like I said, possessions are not important at all. I'll pick up a hitchhiker in my convertible any day. The other day I picked up a young woman and we discussed a non-violent solution to war. We called it peace. Your father is a great man. He's done more for the arms trade in this state than anyone else, myself included. And you shame him with this socialist, jiggery, pokery, hootenanny. Um, 